In the third section, we're going to talk about adding um, different embellishments to your illustration if you'd like to bring a little bit more depth, depth and dimension to it. And I mean, personally, it's my favorite part. So as you know, I do use glitter quite often for my drawings. So I, I use Martha Stewart glitter mainly because she makes every color you could ever imagine. Um, and it's just a really nice quality. If you go to arts and crafts section or at an art store and sh there's usually like a thicker coarse glitter, that doesn't come off so well because it's so big and it kind of dulls over time. But these really fine glitters are what gives you a really cool look. What I use to apply the glitter I use uh, I stick with the same brand. I use Martha Stewart. There are a couple different kinds you can get. Um, there's this glue pen, which has more of like a felt tip on it, which is nice for like a thicker um, covering a thicker area or a large area. And then there's also the same thing, but it's a ballpoint pen. So it's just like you're drawing, and um, and then you just add glitter on after. So another thing I like to use are Swarovski crystals. Um, they're a big step up from glitter. They're a little more pricey, but they make a really beautiful drawing. I get the flat back crystals, so they're easier to apply to your drawing. And I have various sizes. It really depends on what you want. And what I apply those with is the... Um, it's a Swarovski Elements Crystal Glue. So glitter glue is kind of like a surface, kind of comparable to a glue stick. But the Swarovski Crystal Glue is more um, like a gel. So sequins are a little tricky because uh, even like a little bit of static energy can make them stick to everything in your hands and get a little messy, but they're, they make a really pretty look on your drawing as well. And for those I use the same glue as the crystals, the Swarovski Elements glue. If you want to add um, black ink to your drawings, there are two different kinds I use. And this is a micron and I, I typically s stick with a really small tip one so you can get extra details on there. But these are nice because they're permanent so you can draw on them and then paint over it and it will never bleed. Um, so that's good. And then the Parker pen is something I've recently started using a lot. Um, you can replace different color inks. It's a really nice old school style pen. And what's really pretty about it is when you do put water over it, the ink bleeds, but it bleeds. It looks really nice and it gives it a extra artistic look to it. So now we're ready with our drawing to add a little extra sparkle to it. Um, so I really want to focus on the pattern on her skirt and bring that out. And for this one, I'm going to do it with glitter. So you want to take your glue pen and I'm going to use the fine tip um, felt pen. And you, you just want to use it just like a pencil or a pen and apply it where you want the glitter to go. So for this, I'm gonna be really sketchy with it and and kind of do that, that pattern again. And you wanna press it down every now and then just to make sure there's glue coming out. And with these pens, the glue starts out blue. Um, don't worry, that'll dry clear, but it kind of shows you where you're putting it. So I'm just gonna Sketch over my little pattern, probably, I don't know, two minutes before it's dry and then you can't put the glitter on it anymore. So you want to be kind of quick about it. So now I'm going to use this color, kind of like a silvery midnight blue, and you just want to kind of tap the the bottle as you're putting it on. You can even use two hands and just kind of be really light with how you're sprinkling it and don't just dump it in one spot. And I also like to do sort of a gradient 
sometimes so I'll put more towards the top and then as you go down lift your glitter a little bit higher so it's not getting as much on one spot so once you have your glitter on there you don't want to let it sit for a second um, and glitter is something that can be really messy so you want to make sure you keep it confined keep it on your paper and um, if it goes everywhere which has happened to me a million times just good luck cleaning it up <laughs> so I keep all my excess glitter in here um, and just mix all the colors so if I ever need like a multicolored glitter I can just use this so you just want to bend your drawing and tap your drawing and it'll start coming off on here all right so now I have the glitter off and um, it's as you see it's kind of an ingredient where it's a little more filled in up top and then it goes a little lighter down at the bottom um, and I, I like how it turned out so um, I don't really put anything on top of it I just the glitter usually stays pretty well with just that glue if you put a light layer on there um, and then if you want to add any details to this to finish it um, sometimes I'll use a pen and just add some really small detail lines to again add just a little bit more interest to the drawing so I'm gonna go in and lightly go over where I sketched and add some extra line um, and then towards the bottom I like to call out like the bottom shape of the skirt a little bit and it's also nice if you have different um, weight pen tips you can even get a, a thicker line down here but I usually just stick with the, the thin And then at this point, you want to sign your work, so whatever. And then your illustration's finished. And so you can kind of see how we translated this look um, from the runway to your illustration. And yeah, it's a little bit different, but it, you still get that same idea. and. It's if you ever look at a designer's sketch from from concept to creation, it's always a little bit different because I mean you're working with different mediums here, but you want to just get the idea down on the paper, um, especially if you're illustrating your own idea. Just getting down that main part, and which is the skirt here, is the most important thing.